Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Dishonored Let's Play. In this, the year of our Lord, 2024. Return to the tower, baby. Oh, I remember where we left off. We was waiting to hit the third floor. You know, my favorite thing to do is see through walls quickly as well let's see what's our optional broadcast station we want to do that for sure it oh no Concerns about the royal interrogator. General Tobias, I've press, I have to press you again, sir. The torture has been coming into the barracks at night. Last night, Corporal Husso woke up to find the freak leering at him in the dark. Other men have reported that personal items have gone missing with odd things left in their place. Sanders said he found a bunch of teeth wrapped up in a handkerchief. Teeth. And Bilson found three painted rat heads on a string in a shaving kit. Whatever this is, it has to stop. Men are rattled, and I don't know how long I can keep him from going into that bastard's room and beating him to death in his sleep. I don't care what you call him, executioner, torturer, royal interrogator, or bat-faced troll. He's gotta stay out of the barracks. First Commander Gregory. Excerpt from historical record of government positions and ranks. It is said that the office of royal spy master has existed for as long as there have been emperors and empresses. However, in the earliest days of the empire, the position existed in secrecy. Only after the Morley insurrection was the position publicly acknowledged due to the tremendous role that the acting spy master played in quelling the rebellion. Originally, members of the military or officers of the city watch were advocated for the role chosen by the uh, admir. What does this say? Admiralty? What a weird word. In recent years, the outgoing spymaster has made recommendations on his replacement from the small cadre of espionage agents serving him. In this way, continuity is preserved, since many of the covert projects undertaken by the government are not committed to writing, only communicated in whispers behind secure doors. This leads to the most common critique of the office of the royal spymaster, that actions are taken and deeds are committed that even the emperor or empress is not aware of. This lack of oversight or accountability is a commonly debated topic during parliamentary sessions. But those who hold the position of royal spymaster insist that in order to function, the role must exist outside existing bureaucracy or law. Muy mm. interesante. You got a like hidden safe in here or nothing? <clears throat> Have I just destroyed everyone in my path so far? Excerpt on a historical examination of Dunwall Tower. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Gristle and the seat of power across the Isles of the Empire. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. The Mall Towers withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires, and the collapse of rebuilding of the Northern Wing. With Tivia and Circanos joining the Empire first, it was Morley that resisted longest. Some of the conflicts that arose also necessitated the further fortification of the tower. 
Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the royal protector position. With each ruler choosing his or her own royal protector after careful consideration. <coughs> we read this. Of course, I'm not attempting to improve upon the yeah, average of that. Skibbity dibbity, hibbity chibbity. Mm. We're up in the Lord Regent's chambers. Uh, excerpt from a series on overseer roles and rituals. Over the centuries, the Abbey of the Everyman has held its place as the dominant religion across the aisles. Not only do its adherents call to the meaningful faith, but aside from a few toler tolerated variants, they castigate the followers of the religion as heretics, actively resulting in harm rather than harmony. A key component to the Abbey's health is the High Overseer. Venerated by all other overseers, the women in the oracular order, and the congregations from each town and city across the empire, the High Overseer is called upon to interpret the seven strictures and to initiate important ceremonies such as the Fugue Feast at the end of each calendar year. Above all, the High Overseer must embody the strictures serving as a living example of their perfection. Upon the death of the acting High Overseer, it falls upon a council made up of elder overseers to call for the Feast of Painted Kettles first step in the arduous process of choosing a new leader for the Abbey. I hear something. Boom. Let's see. I have one. So, I can't really do anything. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technology is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks to process whale oil. I've seen that. I really wish they wouldn't just double up so much, man. I understand you can miss things, but whoa, fancy. Lord Regent. Our search for the missing Lady Boyle continues with limited results. No one seems to know what happened to her. Though there was a rumor circulating that she left the party by boat, it seems unlikely. But in any case, the witness in question saw nothing more, though even that let lead went cold. It is undoubtedly not worth your time, and I hesitate to even mention it, but apparently on the night of the Boyle party, someone signed the guest book as Corvo Atano. Must be a perverse joke, surely. However, you asked to be notified of all such matters. And in truth, we never located the royal protector's body, so I thought it best to bring it to your attention. Sorry for troubling you with this matter. I know Lady Boyle is dear to you. Rest assured, we will redouble our efforts to locate her. Captain Galloway. Yeah, I signed that book, boy. Yeah. Combination required. Hmm. Hmm. I think I've killed everyone on this floor, dude. Genuinely. There's probably no point in even rewiring that. Just trying to see if there's anything I can see through these walls. It might lead me to... I'm kind of safe. Combination. This is huge. up in here, bro. Where have I not been? 
that's a door. No. So many people I have zero crossbow bolt or incendiary bolts, three sleep darts, and 16 regular bolts. I've tapped out my resources. There must be something I'm missing. Is there like a clue somewhere in here? There's gotta be a note or something about this safe code. I guess it could potentially be in the same room, but... Find it highly unlikely. Nothing in this. get to it. Excerpt from a book on the late Empress. Many of those who lived through her reign will weep until the ends of their lives over the pale beauty with the piercing eyes and the foul she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. In her father's day, the called ones were thrust into the limelight despite their distance to the throne. And the former dynasty proved no heir, so prosperous age followed the emperor, but his daughter would have different luck. In her short life, Political intrigue and minor conflicts created cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the aisles. The rat plague, however, was a terror for which neither Empress Caldwin nor any other living being was prepared. I forgot to start recording. I am a failure. But I'm not going to go back, dude. I'm tired of going back. I don't want to go to the roof. This place is crazy. I really want to get in that safe. But I might have to Google it. Return to the tower. Let's see. I think... I'm just scouring this place for no reason. According to the internet. I need to get to there. Please, 
Please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph. Secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier. His confession broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. 935. Audiograph with the Regent's confession in the safe. That's the info I need, brother. Where did I come from? We're about to put this dude on blast. Spy master, we had a specific agreement and I planned around it. Loyal prote the royal protector wasn't a part of that agreement. It assured me that she and the group would be alone, so the price of the job went up. Send the coin to the alternate dead drop, or you can be sure we'll come calling. Dot. So I can go non-lethal and play the audiograph, or I can find him on the roof. I'm like, ran through so many people, dude. I know this would be easier. But this dude killed killed my friend I think I need to go chop him to bits you know what I'm saying you digging what I'm laying down Sort of fat save just in case we want to see the other one or whatever. be a little more difficult but our way up here. Or chance. Or 
We're making it hard on ourselves. Still haven't figured out if I can kill these guys. That's tragic. Captain, I heard an alarm. Are we under attack? Do I ghost the safe route? Rats might have set it off. We're looking at you. For now, I recommend you stay in the tower's safe room and try to remain calm. Okay, I am calm. Apparently, everything is locked and secure, and it is proper place. Yes, Lord Regent. Remember your roof port. Guards, to me! Watch it! What? Follow me. How am I supposed to get up there? to know if you can take out these big dudes. But I don't think that you can. I mean, I've shot them. I've beat them like crazy and they just don't go anywhere. All right, when he turns around, I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna blink up. back time you yeah. 
done for. How do you get rid of these guys, man? Planning room key. I don't have that. get in here the deed is done huh. Run. Yeah, that felt better than just putting him on blast for sure. Well, bro killed my friend. It was more work, but. It was worth it. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the hound pits? Yes, sir. Time of the Lord region is ended. Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Did pretty good. Except for the high chaos, but that's usual for us. The Lord Regent has been defeated. The reign of Emily Caldwin is now assured. All that remains is to see her safely escorted to Dunwall Tower. She will assume her position on the throne. Big changes. Makes me uneasy to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Thank you. Did he kill anybody tonight? How many? I'm tired of being afraid. When I'm Empress, I'm going to make everyone else afraid instead. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you scheming piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corvo. We'll find Gal, the assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with part. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but 
It still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle, but there is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Here, here. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The Seven Spectres, the Litany and the White Cliff. I, no, I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Uh, hi, Overseer. Perhaps you ought to send her to me, and soon. She is a spoiled child, even if she's to be an empress. Oh, this is gonna be like a storm sewer, is he? No, it's crazy. Just a dream. What was that? I had a nest egg saved up. Oh, the school. The other day I saw Emily staring at you. Do you think she understands what you've done? The Pendletons? Lady Boyle? I think on some level she knows what's been done in her name. When I'm Empress, I want to build two giant ships and crash them into each other. We'll have to keep the overseers on the street maintaining order. What's happening to me? Did I get poisoned? I've been po- Oh My Samuel, you move like you've been drinking did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent. And his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. No shot, bro. You have got to be kidding me. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. Shouts out to Samuel, man. I know he was a good dude. Adrift. Betrayed by Havelock, Martin, and Pendleton. You were only saved at the last moment by Samuel the Boatman. We left you adrift in ruined section of Dunwall. I can't believe that, man. It's shady deals. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt.
great deal, bodyguard. I recognize those marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. They're a mystery. And I can't allow that. Bro, things have gone very south. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. I think we definitely have a good stopping point there um, as always shouts out to the patrons it's a dollar a month uh, to join if you want to have your name in the credits of all of my videos and my live streams I will see you again with another episode in one week's time it looks like we're getting close to the end of this series um, sad but sweet but we got a long list of things to get to so until next time gang yeah.